and then if you go back to your selection tool again and we'll just select all four points all four points selected just move the box up so we can't see the text and then we're going to go down to mask add another keyframe for the path move forward a second and then we're just going to uh, move the box back down into view so there we are And we're going to add another, going to add a feather to this as well. Make it about 250 maybe. Yeah, that's good. Actually, now that we've added the feather, we might need to move the box up a little bit more so you can't see it at the start. There we go. And the box comes down. A nice wipe effect and then you've got the bottom text wiping across so that's just the basic text and then what we want to do is going to animate the lens flare just to, to fly across the screen so if we move to the start click on light battery easy. Now we're just going to move this out of frame a little bit so we can't see it. And then what we're going to do is if we add a keyframe to the light source location up there, just hit the stopwatch, you can see that that adds a keyframe there. And then we'll move forward a second again. And then we'll just get this, move it just to the end there. And you can see the lens flare comes across. And then if you move forward to two seconds, we'll just move this off screen just a little bit so it slows down after. So you can see it goes pretty fast and then slows down a little bit. And then the example that I showed you, it goes across and then it blooms just to take up the whole screen. So let's do that. What we're going to do is add a keyframe at two seconds, hit the stopwatch for brightness, move forward to the end three seconds, then we'll just bump the brightness up to uh, 300 seems good, yeah. So you can see now the lens flare coming across, slows down, and then brightens up. And what you can do is if you select all the keyframes and then hit F9, that creates easy ease keyframes which just make the, the animation a lot smoother. There we go. And that's basically it. And to render, what we're going to do is just go to composition, add to render queue. And if we go to output to, click on that. You can save it to tutorial, desktop. Click save. Output module, quick time mover, animation, best. If you've got audio on your track, or you could add that later, but if you've got audio in After Effects, you need to make sure the audio output is clicked. Then click OK. And that looks ready to go, and then just hit render. Shouldn't take that long.
can see it's just it's looking good, looking good. <laughs> and while that's rendering, if you haven't been to my to my YouTube channel yet, Acres HD, this is it. Got a load of other tutorials, After Effects tutorials, Final Cut tutorials. Um, Cinema 4D tutorials coming soon actually. I just want to get a bit more comfortable in Cinema 4D and then I'll start making tutorials. So if you haven't already, head over to my channel. If you've got any questions, just send me a message. I'll do my best to uh, try and help you out. So I think that's rendered now. Yeah. Text tutorial. There we go, there's just a basic text and lens flare tutorial. Thanks for watching.